right this is a new tool that i've made it's a miniature multi-purpose live center um, fitted with an er11 collet chuck um, and it's used for doing very small work like this um, making tiny spindles or whatever and now i'm going to show you in this video how easy it is to actually make one of these so like i said it's a multi-purpose um center um, this is the one that I was just using on the Chinese mini lathe with the ER11 um, collet chuck. Um, but I've also made them uh, with 8mm um, spindles in there. And you can actually pull the spindle out and change it for another one, a shorter one or a, a different shaped one. And you can even make ones with um, cup ends on or um, another end on for whatever um, job you're working on. So it can be used on a great variety of work, um, but I really like it for actually working on um, very small stuff. Now to make this one, all you need is a soft arbor, and like I say, you can get these online. Um, the head is soft so you can machine it, in fact it's um, all machinable because um, making this tool you have to drill right the way through and um, you can get these on eBay for about £6 or you can get five of them for about £22 from Kronos on eBay. Um, some ground 8mm stainless steel I've used, 316 stainless steel um, but it can be anything, you could use silver steel um, that's 8mm. Some 3 8 um, threaded bar which actually screws into the back of the um, arbor. And one nut. Um, you can also use um, ER16 collet chucks uh, you can buy on eBay with the 8mm uh, hole through there with two locking grub screws you can fit those onto a spindle so you could actually use that on the tool so there's a, a great variety of use for it and it's very versatile and quick and easy to make uh, because you don't have to actually make the spindles up they're already ground to 8mm and they're spot on um, so they fit the bearing perfectly and that's another thing uh, whenever I'm making a tool like this I always use good quality bearings because they'll run smoothly and last a lot longer so like I say you can make up all different um, spindle ends for it you can actually just put this in the lathe and turn it to whatever shape you like and you can also make them to whatever length you like um, so you can actually use these to make um, loads of different tools and like I say you can put cup ends on the end there you can braise them on you could put them on with grub screws um, so it's absolutely a brilliant little tool to have and you'll find many uses for it so now I'll just show you how quick and easy it is to actually make this um, to accept this um, bearing on the MyFed ML7 so I have the ER40 collet chuck set up on the MyFed ML7 the soft head arbor already has a center hole in the end face there so now I'm gonna put it in the chuck and drill right the way through with a 7.5 millimeter drill into the 3 8 um, draw bar hole at the back.
So now I'm going to use a 13th, 16th tapered shank drill um, to rough out the bore for the bearing. So now I'm going to use my 10mm boring pile with the 070204 insert to actually finish the bore for the bearing. with the adjustment to actually skim the back face of the actual bore. Just 
give it a little polish. And that should be it. And I can feel that's just about to go. That's going to be the perfect fit. And I bought a really nice set of reamers from Banggood up to 10 millimeter in diameter. Um, they always cut spot on size and really good finishes and I've seen other people's reviews on them as well and they give the same results. So now I'm going to just ream through with the 8 millimeter one for the 8 millimeter spindle. finished So the centre um, has the bearing in the front there, but it also has another ball bearing in it. Um, I use an 8mm one, um, and that goes down onto the threaded end. What I do is um, cut about an inch of this off, saw that off, put it in the mini lathe and face off both ends nice and square center drill both ends and in one end I do a drill just the point of a drill until it makes an indent in the other end I leave the center hole like that one and um, then I put that in the actual live center um, this would be a nut on there um, I put this back in the um, chuck of the lathe uh, live center in the back of that one and turn down the nut so it's the same diameter as the back of the arbor so it'll actually go up in the um, bore of the tailstock so that's just a locking collar on the back of that one um, when the uh, shaft goes down inside that one the ball bearing drops in there and this one screws up so that the ball bearing locates on the indent in the front of that um, thread and you adjust it so it's just touching on the back you can feel it just slightly move when you screw it up there like that and then I just use a pair of grips just to lock that up 
You can also take the bearing out because it's 8mm you can take it out from this end and put uh, several drops of oil down inside and that one makes it run really nice and smooth. Also um, you saw that I um, did the um, the reamer for 8mm on this one I polish it down uh, a little bit probably a, a half a thou to a thou um, so that the one doesn't bind up on that hole and allows a bit of oil to go around it. So it's just basically a simple um, backstop bearing for that one to run on. And if you do um, polish that um, spindle down just polish it down to about that depth there leave the front end here exactly as 8mm to locate on that bearing and that'll run lovely and smooth and I've done exactly the same with this one here the uh, ball bearing in the back there and I've just put an indent in the back of these spindles uh, for that to go down onto that bearing And um, I don't know whether I mentioned it earlier, uh, but the soft arbors already come with this 3 8 um, thread in there. Um, so there's no uh, need to actually um, drill and tap them. So I hope you see um, what a great uh, versatile tool this is. And with the ER11 collet chuck, you have many different size collets you can put into it. And um, you'll see that this is a, a very useful tool to have. I have another tool coming up in a um, future video um, made again with one of these soft arbors. I bought five of them uh, uh, one time because I knew all the tools that I'd be making and um, I hope to have that done soon.